The Negev is an arid region in southern Israel that covers 60% of the country. Kakal JNF is conducting desert research here in Ambassador's Forest. The lowest soils in the area have been exposed to desertification for thousands of years. This is due to climate change and the many civilizations that have settled here. Kakal JNF long-term research aims to rehabilitate these soils and combat desertification. Our aim is to rehabilitate those degraded sites. We are using ancient techniques of water harvesting and soil conservation with modern techniques and knowledge in order to increase soil humidity, enable the success of planted trees, and encourage the herbaceous vegetation. By that method, we are creating a green belt around the city of Beersheba and other towns all over the area. How does the landscape itself affect the quantity of surface runoff? What can we do to help vegetation and wildlife thrive in desert conditions? How can we best utilize runoff from flash floods for afforestation? The research in Ambassador's Forest aims to answer these questions and more. At these study sites, we perform a series of research studies. I would highlight some of them. The first, for example, is a remote sensing study that examines the development of the forest. Second is a study that checks the availability of irrigation water and runoff water inside the Liman system. And the third is the interaction between water, soil and vegetation. Savanization, or desert afforestation, is based on an ancient water harvesting system which is used in Ambassador's Forest. This system is comprised of limans and terraces which trap water and sediments from flash floods. In that uh, process, we produce much more water that are available for woody vegetation and for annuals comparing to the natural conditions. This research serves as a model for other arid and semi-arid regions worldwide. Scientists from other countries visit the Negev long-term research projects to study its application in combating desertification. Desertification and global warming are challenges with no borders. The collaboration with other countries serve as a catalyst to improve diplomatic relations in the region. Kakal JNF is eager to share its, its knowledge and experience with other countries facing similar challenges in order to help them rehabilitate desertified zones. Financing further research is important for us as scientists to develop a new technology based on water harvesting to prevent desertification processes and the most important, protect the environment. At the long term, this system should be sustainable. In that case, we can look even 30 years from today and know that this forest can sustain and survive even if we will have lower amount of rain or even higher amount of rain, we can still produce enough water from runoff as irrigation for uh, trees. This water harvesting technology is an excellent tool to, for providing us the knowledge how to create a sustainable savanna forest at the future for everyone. Your contribution will help advance forestry and savanization research, rehabilitating soil and preventing further erosion. Research in desert agriculture has the potential to combat famine and save lives all over the world.